So I'm filming outside and happened to capture something I think was pretty special, which inspired me to create this Speed Ladybug tutorial. I'll leave a clip of the footage that I captured at the end of this video. Don't forget to give this video a like, and I hope you all enjoy this tutorial. Here's a list of everything you need to make the bead ladybug. Start out by taking your string, matching up the ends, and making a loop on the other end of the string. We're going to take a keychain ring and stick the loop inside of the keychain ring. You'll take your two match ends of string and run those through the loop. While holding the keychain ring and pulling the string tight, you have created a knot. This is what your knot should look like. Lacing on a row of beads is simple. We're going to start out by taking one end of the string and adding our beads to that string. For the first row, we're only going to have two black beads. Now, we're going to take our other end of string and we're going to run it through those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. When you get your string through all of the beads, you'll pull both ends of the string until you've reached the top. Continue to repeat these steps to make additional rows. Taking one end of your string, adding your beads to that string. For the second row, we're going to have three black beads. Taking your other end of string and running it through all of those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. Getting your string through all of those beads and pulling both ends of the string until you've reached the top. So just repeat these steps, follow the pattern, and create additional rows. After finishing the third row, you're going to use a toothpick and run it through all of the beads on the third row. This will reinforce the row, keeping the beads straight and making things a bit easier to manage. Be sure to break off both of the ends of the toothpick to keep the stick from showing through the sides. After reinforcing this row, continue to use both ends of the strings again and creating additional rows. Be sure to reinforce the fourth row with a toothpick. So as you can see, this ladybug pattern is pretty simple in design, with the first two rows as the head of the ladybug and the rest of the rows as the body and shell. Once again, we're using another toothpick to reinforce the sixth row. After finishing the seventh and final row, Make sure to reinforce this row with a toothpick. This will make it easier when tying off the ends of string by holding the beads in place. Remember to break off the ends to keep that stick from showing through the sides. Tie off the ends of strings with basic knots to keep those beads locked in place. Be sure to tie off both ends with knots that are tied tightly and secure, making sure the pattern holds together. Carefully cut off the tied loose ends of string and your ladybug is complete. And there it is, your very own ladybug that was simple and easy to make. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful and you can create one just as great. So what did you think about this video? If there's anything you'd like to add, comments or suggestions, don't be afraid to leave a comment below. And if you're new or you just haven't already, don't forget you can also subscribe if you want to be notified for more bee tutorials just like this one. So always remember to take time to enjoy the simple things in life. Thank you all for watching.